82. Even number, let's use a 2. I know it's prime, I'm going to circle it right away. 2 divides into 8 four times, 2 divides into 2 one time. Let's work on the 41. Is it even? No. Ends in a 0 or 5? No. Twin double digit? No. Let's add the digits. 4 plus 1 is 5. 3 and 9 will not divide into 5 evenly. Let's skip it. Is anything times 7 41? No. That must be a prime number, and it is. It's the next prime that I didn't put on the chart. So our prime factorization of 82 is 2 times 41. There's only one 2, and there's only one 41, so I have no exponents on that at all. Even, so 2 is going to work. 2 divides into 5 twice, with 1 left over. 2 divides into 14 seven times. 2 is prime. 27. Even numbers? No. End in the 0 or 5? No. Twin double digit? No. Add the digits. 7 plus 2 is 9. Will both 3 and 9 work? So that is factorable to 3 times 9. 3 is a prime number. Can I get any farther with 3 or with 9? Yes. 3 times 3 is 9. So 54 has the factors of 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. If you keep track of your prime numbers as you're working, they, they list off the page and you won't have to rethink it. I have three threes. So the prime factorization more sophisticatedly is 2 times 3, and I have three of them, so my exponent is also a 3. 35 is not even. It does end in a 5, though, so we're going to use 5 as one of our branches. 5 times 7 is 35. 5 is prime. 7 is prime. The only way you can make 7 is to go 1 times 7. So the factors of 35 are 5 times 7. So we know that we could use divisibility rules to figure out if these numbers went into the larger number when we were doing three and four digit numbers. We, we could check them off. We checked some of them and some of them didn't work and we, we X them off. This is prime factorization where we're, to, we're making factor trees and finding the primes at the very end.